and welcome to the stream. I couldn't help myself. I had to play some Perfect Dark. It's Alien Sauce. Continue. What I have here is the 60 FPS um, mouse and keyboard version of Perfect Dark. But yeah, Alien Sauce continues. It's been too long. I've been watching like videos and hearing about Perfect Dark and I just, I had to play it. Wait, does it not detect the, the rumble pack or the uh, expansion pack? It said it did. Um, oh, okay. Well, I guess I'm just now dark. Perfect dark. I'm going to try perfect agent because I have mouse and keyboard and um, maybe that'll improve it. Oh, here we go. Great. You know what just happened, chat? I just, all I did was like press the mouse. Uh, don't worry about it, it's fine. Let, let's just try that again. Really? I, I just wanted to get the volume up. Looks pretty good so far. It's a little, the frame rates are a little jittery, but. Hi there, hello. Look at these faces. Hi, what can I do for you? Hi. Look, you can see their their Hello, models hey, change. Hey, huh? Ah, a star agent. Hey. Hi. God, I did so much of this. Playing this back in the day for the first time and unlocking everything. The mouse hack only works on the 1964 emulator. That's that seems to be true, yes. Vinny, there are sensitivity sliders uh, in the in the N64? In the totally real N64? The sliders under or the expansion pack door of the N64. Vinny pretending his emulator is a real console is honestly the lamest joke in his repertoire. Yeah, that's it's not really a joke because you kind of can't mention that you're using emulators on Twitch. Uh, that 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 started out of necessity, chat member. Sadly, that's something that could get you in trouble. At the moment, I just really don't care. Boy, what a what a killjoy! <laughs> I was having so much fun with these jokes. Doctor Cow. Somewhere in the underground Stealth. Facility. I hope I didn't make a big mistake by playing this on the hardest difficulty. So, I think this game holds up great. The music especially. One bullet kills flying Blade Runner car chat. Oh, Joanna Dark is a fucking monster. Watch as I fuck up this mission. Like, horrendously. Do chairs explode in this game? Uh... Nope, they just... get deformed. Who are you, and what are you doing here? Look out! She's got a gun! You won't shoot me, foolish child. <gasps> Please don't kill me! I won't. What is that noise? Oh, it's punching glass. Vinny, are you only playing this to see Elvis clap his cheeks in Area 51? How the fuck did you know? Intruder alert! This fucking guy. This jabroni guy with his mask on, which is now everyone. Yeah, they, they especially suck because... The mouse and keyboard makes help. it easier. Intruder. Help, help, intruder. Me. What? I didn't kill you. Cunt, I punched you in the back once. Vinny, you needed him conscious. I told you I was gonna fuck this up. Vinny, is the gameplay just GoldenEye 2? Yeah, they lost the rights um, to James Bond because of a bidding war, and they were like, you know what? Fuck it, we're gonna let it go anyway. Because they wanted to make something that was kind of like the X-Files, so... They were fine letting it go, and they were like, let's make our own game. This game had a major flaw in that its frame rates were, were terrible. Um, notoriously bad. This is not 60. This is jittery. I don't know what's going on with this, but it's not bad. If anyone knows how to get, like, better frame rates, email me at this web zone. This is the power of the expansion pack. Where are they shooting from? Chat, what? It's either audio jitter or frame rate jitter. Pick your poison. I want to try... Okay. Well, it's running too fast anyway now. That's way too fast, so no thanks. Roll! Tactical roll! So many of these voice lines and sound effects are just, like, stuck in my mind for the rest of my life. Like, I, I love this game's, um, whole aesthetic. Specifically the music and sound effects and the voices. It, it's just so, like, some of the- the way Joanna Dark delivers her lines, that stuff is just stuck with me. I can almost, like, hear it before it's heard. Security, help me! 
How do I do this job? Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Sounds like JF Sebastian from Blade Runner. Don't shoot! <laughs> the dude just does not want to look at me. <laughs> Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Thank God that explosion did not kill him. Vinny, perfect dark source. Is it full single player uh, desert? I'm logging on now. Right, I, I, I'm in. I think it's only multiplayer, but I'd be down to check it out. Goodbye, Doctor Carol. He sabotaged the mission first, chat. Sadly, this is one of the things that happens on the hardest difficulty. Some of these objectives are a little ridiculous. Right, I, I, I'm in. I don't want to be a cold-blooded killer, you know. Okay. Mission three completed. The sound effects on this fucking gun. <laughs> it's like just spitting. Come here. Come here. This is my favorite season of Alien Sauce. Look how many fucking guards there are! It's like a Torok death noise. Yep, 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 yep. And now I just gain access to the lab. No, you don't. Do not kill now. I am so close to finishing this. Holy shit. Look at that face. Huh? Classic Bond gag. What? Vinny, they were just chilling. Note, a murder occurred right here with loud guns and they didn't hear it. Get out, Joel. The levels are too high. Who's the comm spy? I found him. God damn it. God, when does my vision return to normal? Is this just life now? My experiments. I don't know. Maybe he was gonna, you know, do the thing. Try it now. Try it now. Help! Help! She's got a gun! Not even worth it. Pool, does this go nowhere? My foot... My foot just fell asleep. <sighs> Hang on a minute. What the hell happened? Oh my god, Captain Falcon, please! I need that foot, please! What are you gonna do with it? We've got to do that! I always wonder why the muzzle disappears on this gun when you do the alt fire. I love the design of this weapon too, even though it's very simple. It just looks cool. The Falcon too. And I don't really like the, the look of the Glock. It's like really boxy and weird. Yet this, this looks cool. I think the laser sight at the bottom, like just a couple extra features make it look nice, but it really is very Glock-like. It's great. Great tunes here! Fuck. <sighs> Almost didn't make it. I know there's another dude hiding behind something. Somewhere. The dude with the dragon. Did I get all the objectives in the previous area, chat? Or am I... Do I have to go back? Do I have to backtrack at any point? Any? yeah, you need to go back. Fuck. Get her. That's the dude that got me killed. I remember that from four years ago. Oh, and you too! You too! You killed me too! Connection established. Oh! <laughs> I remember both of those motherfuckers. Who the hell are you? Switch this thing off. Allow me to assist you. <laughs> Accidents will happen. <laughs> I don't think that's a mission fail, though. Also, cheese. There's like cheese in this game. They put pieces of cheese throughout the game to, for you to find. The reload animations are very good in this compared to Goldeneye, which James Bond just hits himself in the crotch and manages to reload. That's how he gets his power. Pure id. Money penny. I want you to hit me. 
as hard as you can. Forgot about that. My eyes! I see you. Oh, fuck. There's one here, too. I almost just walked right into that with zero health. Yes! Dr. Carol? What? You're... This computer. Uh, Sound the alarm! She's here! Lights out! No! Oh. Whoa! Oh. Fuck. <laughs> goodbye, <laughs> goodbye, Dr. Carol. Cool nowhere room. If this was developed for a different system, perhaps that would have been a storage room of some kind, but... You know, N64, it's just an empty room. And I'm getting shot from here, too. No, Dr. Carol, no! No! Death incoming. User death imminent. Jesus. I feel like there was, like, armor or something behind here. Oh, no, well, not in this version. Not in this difficulty. Ah! Is this a, a room of failure? Oh, that helps. That's good. Laptop missing? No, no, laptop is here. You just hurry up! Oh, no, it's too late! She's here! Damn it. Everything happened so quickly. Well, the other reason to play on the hardest difficulty is you get more objectives. Which means more gameplay, man. When the lights go out, you can run up and flip the light switch, which will blind the bodyguards. Oh, good to know. Battle pass for extra gameplay. I think the battle pass for this game was just the expansion pack. Someone said, you remember when games came out and they had all the content in them? Man, those were the days. You've become quite an annoyance. Where's the light switch? Chat, where's the light switch? Good night. Where is it? So apparently the AI is glitched on the crouching guards because of the 60 FPS patch. When they crouch and shoot, they don't stop crouching and shooting. I want to save the Falcon for the bodyguard section for later. Well, that and the rocket launcher, now that I, you know, have the power of foresight. What was that? Uh, the power of foresight, Mario. Oh, I thought you said you had the power of foreskin. Because you know what you need to do What's that, Mario? You need to wash your... What do I need to wash, Mario? Your foresight. Okay, this, this is... I feel good about this one, chat. That's not how it goes! Oh no, it's too late! She's here! Good night, Miss Dark. <laughs> I can't see any bodyguard standing. Wow, I squandered that opportunity. <sighs> please, please, please. Oh, thank God. Going somewhere. One more chance. Give it back. And you could come and work for me. Work for me. Gotta shoot. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Have you seen my laptop? Gun? Best gun in the game, right here. Why is this the best gun in the game, says any no anyone in chat who's not saying anything? This is why. Fuck, it did nothing. <laughs> oh no! It ran out of ammo before it could kill. My gun! Now, pull a falcon out. You win. I surrender. Usually they pull out a pistol. Please, don't shoot me. Hmm? <laughs> Get her. It's another dude. Jeez. I just want a pistol. Pull out a pistol. I know you have one. Got it. This game came out just as I was going to high school. And I remember making my first couple friends in high school talking about our multiplayer weapons that we like to choose. Can you please scan the windmill? I don't know what that means. Locate and eliminate Datadyne hackers. Joanna, it's Grimshaw. We got hackers at Come the here. villa. We got to get to our files. Not there. Wait, is this correct or do I go up? Chat, help. It's upstairs, okay. Joanna, we gotta stop the hackers! Were these the hackers? What? Oh, I was two seconds too late! His corpse fell on the send button, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, good shot. Ooh. Where? Where? From Hoist. Scan the windmill outside. I don't. This, with what? With what do I scan? Is this a meme? Snipers are down. No! What the? F Why that dude just <laughs> randomly scream? Oh, he knew his friends were dead. I guess. Joanna, there's hackers in the building. Ah! But that sucks. That dude was hovering. Alright, well that will do its job. Please don't do that, laptop gun. Please don't do that. Don't waste your ammo. Did I ever play Deus Ex? No. I know that's a grievous sin, and there's a lot of Deus, Deus Ex fans. Deus Ex? But I, I one day, maybe, I, I know how good that game is supposed to be. I do miss the James Bond karate chop from Goldeneye. But I cannot argue that fists seem more effective. Judo chop, baby, yeah. How the fuck did Austin Powers like? How how did James Bond ever continue after Austin Powers? Those Brosnan Bonds must have been really dopey. I, I didn't see any of them in the theater, but it's like, do you go campy or do you go more like brutal? Do you do both? Pierce Brosnan was both. I feel like he had a good mix of silly Bond and serious ass kick bond, but his movies sucked, mostly. Ah, health way too low, weenus. Holy shit. Same spot. Time for one of my favorite, uh, famous, rather, speedruns, not favorite. I would not be able to speedrun this game. Or any game, for that matter, except Zelda 2. My favorite game to speedrun, slowly. Jeez! Jeez! Thanks, laptop gun. Got the fucking sniper scene in Full Metal Jacket. What a mess. What a nightmare. There's so many scenes from that movie that I remember watching as a kid and had, like, minimal effect on me because I was, like, a kid and I was a dumbass and affect me way more now than they did then. It's just when you're a kid and, and you know, you, you like video games, sometimes you see movie with gun and you're like, yeah, war movie! Yeah, guns! Yeah, shoot! Now I watch that movie and I'm just horrified. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I've never seen an anti-war movie more effective. All you have to do is just depict it realistically. <laughs> I think that's good enough. I had an uncle that got drafted. He, he came back not the same. Famous family story about what the war did to him. But that war in particular was especially just so nebulous and morally gray and then you had this whole idea of like you couldn't see shit the jungles were all kind of fucked, fucked up and yeah it was just a really bad no war is like good unless you're like 
I guess you like killing people, I don't, I don't know, but that in particular, the Vietnam War in particular, is just ultimately fucked up. Unnecessary. Do they really only give me a f one minute for this? Nice laptop gun. That is... I'm not really a fan of that game design. That, that's um, a little dated. Joanna, go find the hackers! You have one minute! Where the fuck are they? Trial and error, Joanna! Trial and error! See you in the next loop! Loop? What do you mean, loop? And... Banjo. I Caramba! Okay, snipers are down. It's my victory noise. My allergies have been, um, activated again, chat. Joanna, it's Grimshaw. Everybody! Did, did he say everybody get fucked? There we go. Injured. Even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep our personality in safe. Time Splitters did a spoof of this mission. Citizen. Well, I've already fucked up. <laughs> Dude, jumping all over the place. Fuck. Fuck. Objective 2 failed. The limo has escaped. Alright. Again, this is just for the N64. I know this, like, looks a little pukey. Some of the textures. I think they did a fantastic job with pushing the N64 to its limit. Jeez! Jeez! <laughs> the fucking voice on that thing. Nice rollout, dude. I like how they give me like a stealth mission and don't give a silencer to Joanna Dark. This guy's ascending. I mean, I think it's nice that the future. They're still using Magnums for some reason. Maybe that's just their choice. They have access to all this amazing futuristic weaponry. They're like, yeah, no, I want a Magnum. Well, they're powerful. Bullets is bullets. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. I wish to be like Dirty Harold. <sighs> Damn, that thing is powerful. I don't know if I can destroy that. Mission failed. Um, gain entry to G5. Oh, I got too close to the building. Things just mowing down its own people. What? Robot can be killed, but it has god health. You're supposed to do something else in the last section. The G5 building, the brown coat, see you, it's over. Okay. Base, we have an intruder. Your head doesn't fit your body. I keep trying to press, like, the number keys to uh, switch weapons. Which is not a thing, because this is not a PC game. I'm going to... Quickly, before the drone arrives. Fuck. Oh, I got stuck on a wall. What are they doing? What the fuck are they doing, chat? <laughs> Fucking drone. You gotta play the game like you're unlocking cheats for maximum optim optimability. Go, taxi, go. Objective four completed, and I'm dead, and I'm dead. Greetings, citizen. Greetings. Face, we have an intruder. We have an intruder. Where'd the music go? Did I break the music? I can't believe the Shadow Temple killed the music. Maybe this is the run without the music. Which is a shame because the music in this game is half the reason I'm streaming it. Ah. 
<laughs> Got it back. It's fine. It must really suck being on storm drain duty. Especially the one day a secret agent infiltrates it. So not only do you have to smell the disgusting smells of this gross future city, then you get shot, and then you die, and then you go to Pasta Fazul Heaven. Luigi! We went to Pasta Fazul Heaven! This is where the legendary plumber, Martino, is. This isn't so bad, Mario! You're right! This is pretty good, Luigi! And there it is, a full episode of the Mario Brothers Super Show. Now we just need to storyboard it, write a script, and you have an episode. And the B-plot is... Toad... is turned into an actual Toad. You alright? What happened to this dude? Is this it? Yep, got it. Oh, thank God. Thank God. If you do this really well, and fast, you could probably do this in like a minute and a half. Like, if you know exactly what to do. These missions are really short, it's just dying a million times changes... ...changes it a bit. Oh, I got DK mode. Because it's the late 90s. There has to be a leather outfit. What was the movie with Sean Connery and Catherine Zeta-Jones? Entrapment? Yeah. Sean Connery was in the leather outfit? Well, yeah, he's a sex symbol, even at the age of 87. That's why they paired him with Catherine Zeta-Jones. Why is the frame rate wildly high? Um, it's a part of the modifications here. Oh yeah, I got sent a special N64 from my uncle. Uncle Funzalo, who works at Nintendo. Nope. Warn the others. Oh man. Yeah, fail every objective. God damn it. How the fuck did we do this on the N64? Golden eye noise. I <laughs> like he just got stuck shooting in that direction. He's like, well, I gotta commit to it, otherwise I look like an asshole. No. <laughs> Perhaps I underestimated his resolve. The voice. We have a presidential on rush arrives at the airbase. In a rash. Definitely not there a British no person doing an American accent. No. My name is Nathan Fielder. Vinny, there's a weapon in the hallway you passed. Gone in the hall that you passed. The decoder's gonna take a little longer. Received. Vinny, have you ever considered that pizza is just flat spaghetti? You can- you can leave my chat room. It is so much more than that. The consist- the very consistency of pasta is different than the dough used to make the pizza. Oh no! Oh no! Vinny, Chicago or New York pizza and why? New York because I live in New York. Not to be a smartass, but... You know, one thing that really, like, so there's a lot of... Cock. There's, there's a lot of businesses and restaurants that went under. I think there was some estimate of, like, 50 to 60 percent of restaurants won't survive what were, you know, the thing that shall not go named. It's been bad, you know, it's, it's been a really, it's been a hard time for businesses. Holy People are moving out, people are just moving away, and... The thing is, landlords are still charging, like, nearly full prices. They're still charging full prices, and, and they need to come down. I mean, a lot of it... Like, they'll have, like, you know, seven units available, and two will be on the market. Because they want it to seem like they're not suffering, and they'll just... Oh, you know, 2600 a month, no problem, how you doing? Your view is a fucking toilet. Huh? Oh, I know you like that toilet view! And here, as you can see, is the view of a lovely big building directly across from your window. That'll be $3,200 per month. We're gonna need a four-month uh, deposit, and we're gonna need a two-year lease. There are some buildings, like in New York City, where, you, you know, like, here's a building that can employ 1,500 people. And that would be the usual amount of people that would work in the office, right? At this time... You might have 300 people in that building, and the rest working from home, and the company can still function. So what's gonna happen to all that office space now? I can't wait to get an entire building in New York City for Vine Sauce HQ for $300 a month. That's what I'm hoping for in about a year. Or, as someone in chat suggested, mini golf. Chat, do I just, like, detonate the remote mine now? Is there a rewind function on 1964? <clears throat> oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. There's a huge cheese in chat. Let's see. 
She spy on the meeting immediately after you start decoding the safe. Let the cutscene play. You can cheese through the fight. Hey, speaking of freeing up, um, space, check this out. This is Windare stat, which shows you how much space you have on a hard drive. This is a one terabyte SSD. Guess what the red, the gray, and the blue are. Porn, correct. No, go ahead. Gray is Call of Duty. Ding, you won porn. Uh, what's red? VODs? No, I don't say VODs locally anymore. Music? No, 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 it's a game. It's a game. Sea of Thieves? Nope. Someone probably said it in chat, but it's- Yep, yep, you got it. Someone said it. Half-Life Alex. And blue? Anyone? Compare the file size to Call of Duty, maybe you'll get it. Blue is Battlefront 2. Yeah, that- that drive is 90% games, and then the rest is some, uh, music files. Like from Fruity, uh, Fruity Loops. Fruity Loops from the, my old computer. From my old hard drive. So, yeah, that's- that's just- So, it's not completely filled up, but it's mostly fucking Call of Duty. I can't wait until games start shipping with SSDs in their special editions. In the cartridges? Well, look at what Switch is doing. Bring back floppy drives. We can get them even floppier these days. Okay, so I- I leave it here, right? I leave it there and then I activate it and just... Bring it on in after I decode the door. Activate the alarm! <laughs> that man was still dying. So, okay, so, door decoder, decoder, right? Door decoder. Intruder alert! All security to the- no? Don't skip the cutscene. Well, I fucked that up. I was worried that Joanna was gonna get killed during the cutscene. I'm pretty sure that closing the door on them over and over again is a viable strategy. But then they just bunch up too much, so I don't really think I want to do that. Oh god, wrong weapon. Definitely gonna want the CMP for this. Holy shit, it's done. Finally. Oh my god. Spin! Oh my god. Here is our friend. He appears to be physically in heart. It's like, wait a minute. You just confirmed that life exists outside of this planet? Nice eyesight that this dude has. What? You're ready for more silly weapon sounds. I like this gun. Oh yeah. yeah it's like Banjo-Kazooie versions of Perfect Dark music now. With the burp. I just love that Rare was able to like switch tones so widely from game to game. If any wrong way, this is the wrong way. I'm worried about the big red button. What if it's an alarm? Oh. Aren't there mines here, chat? That went very poorly. Vinny, do you think you'll ever stream Banjo, Tooie, or is it too much of a collectathon? I think I would stream Jiggies in time before I stream Tooie. I haven't been in the mood to stream Tooie at all. Every time I think about possibly playing that game, I get like a, I get a little bit of agita. Don't go in the lift just yet. Well, how do I get out of here now? I'm afraid of this minefield. Fire alarm. <laughs> Whoa, grenades? There's the antenna, but I can't throw a bug that high. I remember that voice line. The way she delivers that, I must have heard that dozens of times in my life. Because it just the inflection of that was like a song to me. Chat has very good, perfect dark memories. Shit. Not the best idea. I need the rocket launcher. The robot interceptors, I should have killed them. Why didn't I kill them? Oh, 
The magsec has a scope, but this is more accurate. That's some pathetic accuracy. Mitigated slightly when using a single shot. They're a little clobbish. They're not as bad as a clob, but... Clobber in time. <laughs> that worked out. Grenade the tiny boxes is what I'm supposed to do. My gun! It's fucking gun jam? Oh, fuck. Yeah, the gun can be thrown into a fucking proximity mine. <laughs> you sure this isn't GoldenEye 2? Hug the wall, there are no mines in the shadow. I got one guide. To be fair, that particular one guy has been very helpful, so I just didn't even question it. User has been banned. <laughs> no. It's all good. They have some pretty good aim, aim with this gun that has bad aim. Or bad accuracy. They're, they're surprisingly impressive with it. I just tried to jump. I was like, wait a minute, why is the space bar not jump? Goldeneye and Perfect Dark did not have jumping. Finny, since when did the N64 have a space bar? Uh, for the, the, the uh, 64DD. Uh, system. God, that noise is really bad. I really don't like that noise. Oh, man. My god. Mine... God. Yeah, it just really... it sucks when, you, you know, mission, mission's going good and then one jabroni with a, a well-placed headshot kills you. See, we do the speedrun! Speedrun! The worst part of starting over. <laughs> the loud beeping noise that's waking everybody up, probably driving people's pets crazy. Really? Really? Chat, you know what? This seems like a death trap. Fresh personnel. Oh, that's gotta fucking hurt. Oh, man. Look at his face. He likes it. Right in the crotch. Whoa! God, I remember doing this fucking mission in co-op with my cousin and how, how many times we had to retry this on this difficulty. Like, it all just came flooding back to me. This specific part I remember dying on so many fucking times. Okay, chat, just so I don't accidentally fail the mission, because I don't know what cap Perfect Dark is capable of, go in this elevator, right? No, not the Han Solo figure's cousin. I had no relationship with him. <laughs> Man, Joanna really smacks that magazine into this fucking gun. Oh, no. Yes, this way, yes. Agent Dark, oh, thank God. Here. Oh, thank God. There you are. I was beginning to wonder if... I can call in some more guards if you like. <laughs> okay, the okay. Conquer. Forget about it. <laughs> what was that noise? Imagine how hard it was to see those guards on the N64 on a CRT TV, 144p, while inebriated on Kool-Aid. By the way, I think this was the mission that gave me the most trouble. I don't even think it was the end of the previous one. It might have been this one. I think we eventually succeeded and then gave up here. And then he went and painted a Han Solo action figure. Vin, it's a Solo action figure from the movie Solo. The actor, Alden Ehrenreich, looks nothing like Harrison Ford. So, I used an X-Acto knife to make him have Harrison Ford's facial structure and features. Where are those toys? Where are any fucking Star Wars toys any- that kind of ended. The mouse really, um, really did a number on the merch. The golden goose now only lays poop.
Welcome to Area 51. I'm only doing my job. You are keeping the truth of aliens from the public. You need to come forward and tell the people that aliens exist so they can make fun of you. <laughs> Ooh, wrong button. It's all good. I was like, did I just fail the mission by destroying an alien corpse? How does it feel to be the first person to successfully raid Area 51? It's gonna feel a whole lot better in about 10 minutes. I hope this is correct. I'm always afraid everything's gonna fail a mission. Shit! Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Big dicks! Jeez! Open! Please elevate. Elevate faster. Vinny, remember when two guns were the coolest feature to have in your game? Yeah! That really was like the marketing campaign for some sequels. It was just, yeah, we've... Yeah, two guns. Oh, no. Go faster. So we can go faster. Why does this thing not go faster? Okay, it doesn't go faster. Oh, because this dude called the elevator down, I guess. nice of them to patiently wait down there. Are these enemies taking more shots, or am I taking crazy pills? They have body armor? You know, when we started body armor... Is that Peppy? No, fuck you! That's my elevator! And a cluster of fuck. Oh, yeah. I was just sc scratching my body. <laughs> oh. oh God, I'm dying. No, you're not. You got punched once. You tried to do fucking karate. You <laughs> double pistol whip. That doesn't look goofy. Jesus! Just scientists getting wiped out. Who are you? Oh my god! A gun! Help! Help! What do I do, chat? Is this the guy? Help! Help! Why me? I, I worry. I don't know. I don't want to fail the mission, but something stupid. There we go. I don't have much time. Dr. Joe here. Why don't I have much time? Oh, the dissection. I thought it was because the lab coat was going to, like, fall apart. Hey, that's not Harry. It's an intruder. You dare risk the life? Oh, 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 the alien's not being dissected here. There's some rudimentary, crude drawings of what it might be like, though. Damn it. Oh, Chad, I think I just beans dip for myself. No, that worked out. I thought I was using the super dragon. I was gonna throw some grenades at them. away from the alien. Don't make me tell you again, Doctor. And turn that laser off. <laughs> It'll be good. Why do we care about an alien? Because it's it's an alien who crash landed on Earth, I guess. And also, I don't know if there's more story to it other than it's the single most important human discovery in possibly our history, aside from uh, spam. This is intolerable. It's, it's unprofessional. Excellent American accent. No! That wasn't meant to happen! 
I mean, you know, chat. They hired the devs to do the voices. You save money that way. Well fucking done. Whoa, Elvis warping around, buddy? Why is this alien important? I, why are not aliens more important? Is my question. Of course the aliens is important. I just think aliens are important, period. You know, they're good people. Sorry for spamming earlier, it's okay. Vinny, sorry about telling you to walk into a landmine yesterday. Well, that's a little less forgivable, and you should feel bad. It's okay, I had to do that level a bunch anyway. The way I see it is when you play Perfect Dark on this difficulty, it's like a director getting the best, like, take of a scene. Really? Where'd they fucking come from? <laughs> Vinny, did you see that one movie by Kubrick? Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. I did see that movie, yeah. Harold and Kubrick go to White Castle. Okay! I still haven't... Oh, thank God. I love him. I'm alive. I thought I'd be chopped up like the others by now. <laughs> You're from the Institute, aren't you? You speak our language. Watch her, she's sharp. <laughs> <sighs> I have a headache. And with a head this big, that's no joke. <clears throat> What's your name? I'm Agent Dark. Or Joanna, if you'd prefer. Well, Joanna, I'm Protector One. But you can call me Elvis. He's the best. They're shooting Elvis! Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Do you have any idea what Trent's plan might be yet? <laughs> yes, Trent Reznor. I remember this mission being a pain in the ass, too. Well, point proven. I used to be an adventurer like you. That scream. <laughs> that fucking scream. Fucking love the soundtrack in this game. It almost sounds like Rugrats music here. Cock sucking on a Sunday evening. Wait for those doors to close so they don't see me. Cock me! Stop! Their guns are so fucking big that most of the time I shoot, there's a really, like, high percentage of- of chance that I will hit the gun with the arrow, which will do nothing. You shouldn't have come here, girl! Why is he doing this? No one will ever find the body. Hey, what's up? Hi. Nice, trained guard. Dude looks like Justin Long from Galaxy Quest. He's just smiling. He's like, I, I broke the system. So pleased with himself. How many times have you shot Cox tonight? It's the best way to inject the venom. How do you even know who it is? Stop unless you do something. I now I have nothing. What am I doing? Come back later. I'm busy. 
Tactical roll. Nice side hop. Top men. These are the best men for this job. Why? Me. The case will get stopped unless you do something. Unless you do something. What's up? Hey. It's cool. Why am I stuck here? What happened? I was pressing the button, nothing happened! And then I realized that I think I pressed the 4 button by accident and my mouse got unlocked. I was like, oh, does the game stop when you- when you go to the console? Because it seems like Joanna Dark is now standing still. That's weird, I didn't make that happen. This is the run. This is the run. It has to be, it's 3.30. You shouldn't have come here! Fuck that guy! Wait, now it's shoot time? What, what happened to the stealth? The safe is close to the guy that told you leave, I'm busy. No recollection of such things. Oh, is that a mosquito? Oh, that's a mosquito. That's a big motherfucking mosquito. It's time to put my salt shotgun to the test. I tried to, like, I tried to, like, s slam it with a roll of paper towels and it's still here. That thing could have been sucking my blood, chat. Could have been, like, chowing down. Could have given me like fucking East Nile. Here it is. Chad, I found it. If it was a really big mosquito with really long legs, it's probably not a mosquito. It's a mosquito hawk which eats mosquitoes. Mosquito hawks are your friends. Mate, stop trying to like. Is there a fucking conspiracy to get me to like bugs? Because like people like Vinny, no, centipedes are good. Like I get it. I get it. They eat the other bugs, but. Look what the mosquito did to me. The mosquito ruined it. Oh, the fucking mosquito ruined it! Fuck you, mosquito! Chad, a bad thing just happened. A very bad thing just happened. I have to run water over my eyes now. Okay, so I'm a big dumbass. In my anger, I shot the bug assault salt shotgun at the wall, and one of the pieces of salt went in my eye. Fucking mosquito. Holy Not only did I fail the mission, but now I'm gonna be blind? Thanks, mosquito. That won't alert the guards inside. How's things? Am I fucking shooting it? It's really hard to know sometimes in this game, you know what I mean? Whoa! You know, it's either shoot the thing and then fail, or shoot the thing and win. I don't know anymore. Man, this game makes me nervous. Oh, thank God. Truthfully, chat, I didn't even watch that cutscene. I was too busy looking around for the mosquito. My answer remains the same. I'm sorry, Trent, but no. I won't loan the Pelagic 2 to Datadyne. Now, please. Can we move on to other matters? But this is a golden President Obama. Okay, so welcome to the plane level. There was a train level in Goldeneye. There's a plane level here. Oh. Uh oh. Someone in chat just said weeb fight in chat. Oh no, subs versus dubs. Another thing to hate each other over. Fuck pineapple on pizza. Hey there. Hello. Hey there. Hello. Thanks. Totally normal. I assume that you have some. Assume. Welcome to Flight Simulator 2020, starring Alien Ship. Why are they shooting at me? I, I don't know. I just, I made it, um, whoa. Okay, objective complete. Ha! Oh, hi, Mock. Do you think commercial airliners should come with escape pods? Y yeah, just in case Homelander reaches them. Homelander just wants milk. How would an escape pod work? Like, it would have, well, I guess, a parachute. Again, I don't know the logistics. It's like two things in life I don't understand is bean PC and escape pods on commercial airliners. I assume that you have some. We're going to be hearing that word assume quite a bit. Okay, I, I, I got this this time. That was an innocent, I think. Uh oh. 
Damn, do I just, like, soak bullets. I I'll be honest. Regenerating health in first-person shooters these days, I used to think it was a terrible idea. I'm like, no, man, I like health packs. And now... Sometimes I think maybe I'm okay with a little bit of regenerating health. Depending on the game. Uh, someone said I like where games where med packs are something you can carry and use. So like Bioshock. Someone said um, people get too complacent with quality of life mechanics. They've grown soft and nubile. <laughs> There's plenty of games that punish the player. I mean, you're not wrong on some level. Like now even I am like fucking not happy about playing a level over and over and over again because a random NPC stormtrooper got, like, a perfect headshot on me. What the motherfuck? What the motherfuck? I am Joanna Dark. Stewardess. Vinny, have you tried No One Lives Forever? No, I've heard good things about that series, and there's a... There's a PC version that works now. I think it's almost like a little miniature That's remaster. It. I had no choice but to shoot him in the dick. I love the way this gun reloads. Like, what does that even mean? Hey, that's not. <sighs> Fuck off! Oh, thank God. Is this okay, Joanna? What's this? <laughs> I love the chat's reaction to the alien, if they, you know, the, the chat members that weren't here for the previous stream and are just watching this randomly for the first time today, and they're like, yo, what? why is there an alien Well, here we go. So now I have to try to navigate my way through through this giant outdoor Siberia-esque level, and I don't remember it. So that's gonna be a good time. Vinny, in all seriousness, how much does the mouse and keyboard change the experience? Uh, it's great. It's the- you know what? It's not just the mouse and keyboard, it's the 60 FPS and the widescreen. All of it works in perfect harmony to make the game still bullshit. Remembering how some of these missions went on this difficulty has given me, um... What's the word? Oh, stomach worms. But, um, yeah, no, it's- it's- Ooh, it's good, it's good. Using mouse and keyboard for this game definitely improves the experience. The music is still great, the atmosphere is still great, the whole weird alien plotline is still campy and amazing. I don't believe this is happening. So that wasn't the clone. Wait, wait, what if we just- bring the clone back to HQ and say that we have the president. They won't know. This mission's not over yet. Now it's over. <laughs> Dude didn't even hear the bullets whizzing past his, his fucking face. How old is this game? It's insanely low poly. This is from 2000, I believe. Uh, this is an N64 game. It's almost weird to live in a world, in a land, where people don't know what Perfect Dark is. Because this was such, like, a popular game at the time. And I'm almost dead, one more hit and I die. I'm not faulting chat member for not knowing. There's a lot of popular shit that I don't know about. Hell, I've never seen Samurai Jack. Which... Chat lovingly informed me last night through the use of some vulgar language. Some poo poo pop up language that they were like, Vinny, you need to you need to watch that show, or how come you didn't watch it? But yeah, it's just a weird thing. Like I remember everyone was talking about this game at school, at school, when uh, when it came out. This was like one of the you know this and like Metal Gear Solid. I remember having a lot of conversations about. Oh, and Zelda: Ocarina of Time, of course. I remember getting that game. Chat, what the fuck is this? Mr. President, please do not run in the line of fire. Christ on a cross. Mother of fuck! What? Clone eliminated. What was that? Oh, it was a glitch. They- they weren't there! A 
second before that, right? I'm gonna have to make, like, a top 25 games of all time list at some point. Well, I can give you my top 10. Chrono Trigger, Super Metroid, Link to the Past, DMC2. Whoa. Metal Gear Solid, Half-Life after that. Uh, Final Fantasy IX would be maybe like nine. Let's put it at nine. Mario 3. Uh, Symphony of the Night would probably be number seven. Majora and, and Ocarina are too, too difficult for me to choose, but they would be like, you know, like a probably within two or three spots of each other. Warcraft 3 might be number 10, and now I need a number 8. Yeah! Yeah! Resident Evil 4, perhaps, would be my number 8. This is my list. There are many like it, but this one is mine. It had a huge impact on me when it came out, and still does. I hate this. That's all that matters. What? Why did Preston get killed? How did Preston get killed? Where? He'll be able to protect the president. Someone said this game seems bad. Um, 20-year-old dated game design. This was definitely a game that, you know, was really good for its time. On the original, at least. Okay! Ah! Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just Donkey Kong. When I made the decision to stream this game, I looked online, right, real quick, and I saw a full perfect dark playthrough, five and a half hours. I was like, wow! I was like, I could knock that out, no problem. Though I will defend the game. For anyone who has made fun of the game's visuals, again, N64. This is what the N64 was capable of, because Nintendo, uh didn't switch to a CD-based format, and they, you know, tried their own stuff, and in some ways it had some decent tech over the PS1, but... Man, do some of these games look like blurry shit stains. Gotta check for any guards! Got any guards? Elvis is like, Ah! Jorina, that's the clone! Kill! Kill! Mission failed. He'll be able to protect the president. Oh, thank God. That took an hour. How are you feeling, Mr. President? <laughs> so badly. Trent wanted me to loan it to the Datadyne Corporation, but I refused. Elvis is amazing. Trent. You have failed, Easton. You are a flawed device. And we need you no longer. Just try it, you Scandinavian freak! <laughs> oh my God! Pretty cool reveal, huh? It's the story of the the Greys and the Reptilians, and Shigeru Miyamoto. <laughs> yeah! Ow! Oh! Just a bunch of Mario's. Wait. Oh no! I oh, I forgot to lock the mouse in. Blood curdle. Well, right, I remember this now. But did it shut down anything? Objective one still not complete. You pass the button. Yeah. Corridors. Corridors. Someone said there's a tiny button down here. <laughs> sure is mass murder down here from Joanna Dark. Sure is Joanna Dark dying. I think I now know why, even though I don't remember, like, a lot of this game's story stuff, some of the voice lines are so incredibly ingrained in my mind. It's because I died a million times. For every level, I've heard every voice line, like, 14 times. Do you think anyone's ever, like, shot someone in the ass so many times? That their ass was just gone. Without the autopilot and the GPS, ship will wander off stage. <laughs> I was a little demented, Joanna. Die, you traitor! Jeez. I don't understand. 
Did he just kill his friend? Sorry, co-worker? We don't know if they were friends. Yes, and then you did. Someone said the only social media I trust is Meverse. Good shit. Why is that gotta- why is he gotta keep shooting? But yeah, I mean, as- as humans, our evolution does not include ESP, so we don't have that connection the same way like fungus do, so therefore we had to evolve the tools and like a facsimile of ESP. However, that means that you can't read people's minds. You know, that's why it's better to be fungus, is what I'm trying to say. I mean, think about it, chat. Think about how primitive we are as a species. We still make noises from our mouths. That's the same place we eat food we throw up from. It's just like, like wet meat noises that come from our throats. That's one step away from talking from our assholes. Which social media, there's an easy joke there, but. What took you so long? Follow me and get off this old tub. Yes, I love Elvis's little snorkel. It's wonderful. Come on, Elvis. I, I really just want to be very careful here. If there's any Mario's around any corner, I could lose this mission in a second. See what I mean? See what I mean? Well, we're, we're really taking the long way around. Guess that shortcut didn't quite work out, huh? I am in pain. I am in a world of shit. Watch as Elvis just goes through. Like, he just went through that rail. What's, Vinny, what's your Netflix password? It's One. Pistol whip. Oh! Okay, Elvis. Elvis, you need to come here now. Chat, where's Elvis? Oh, thank God. Didn't matter. Oh, thank God. I hope the government don't want to use this ship anytime huh? soon. Did you think we were a little heavy-handed? No. <laughs> Alright, so if that seemed like a pain in the ass, wait until you see this next one. Yes, Elvis just said, I'll kick your ass. Hey Elvis, can I borrow that gun? Like Han Solo? I like this gun. So this is the far sight. This is a gun that can see through walls. When it wants to. It's a little tough to use, but if you figure it out, it's broken. Especially in multiplayer. So like, here's an example of what you can do with this thing. You have to find it, right? On the target. There you go. There you go, All right? Mental. Chat. Mental. This thing was the bane of my existence in multiplayer. So we have disable Satan... Satan? Satan? Seton? Satan? Then he destroy the tubes? Yeah, those are like little Skedar. What Mr. Blonde is, it's these. Not a good idea to stand close to these. Not the best option. What is that? Is that a turret? Okay, I have to remember that that's there when I die. You dare shoot at me! No one shot at you, Elvis. Wow, that's loud. That was super cool. That's super- <laughs> Elvis's hit noises. Eat hot death weirdo. I like that, Elvis. Nice. <laughs> yes, we can discuss flesh melting off the bone now. Imagine... Imagine not knowing that you had to do that because a chat member told you. It mentions it in the mission briefing. Yeah, but I'm... I'm, I, I, I'm stupid. I don't... I don't read. I'm here to lead, not to read. I have the backup disc in my inventory. Do I? Oh, I have to go into my pause inventory. Oh, forgot that you could even do that. That was more of a Goldeneye thing. By the way, happy 23rd birthday to Goldeneye. I like that scream noise. That was cool. It sounded like R2-D2. That was Conker. That was Chris Seaver. We have to get out of here. Okay, chat. Portal? Yes, right? Go, the, go through the portal? No. Opposite portal? Okay. I'm assuming since there's dudes here, this is the correct way. I don't have enough ammo. Chat, I don't know what weapon to use. Thank God. Oh, thank God, I did the mission in one try. Fuck yeah. 
the run has been saved, and we're still on WR pace. We can't keep the main delegation waiting. Or the president, of course. Nervous? The Jimmy Page the dragon day. dress. Where did that come from? It was up on ground level. Hey! Looks like someone doesn't know when to quit. <laughs> We've got to get everyone out. Yeah, I remember this one being annoying, too. But at least we get some new weapons. We're under attack! Get the guns back online! Hurry! Got a mauler. My fault. Objectives failed abort mission. No. You don't tell me when to quit. All right. Now there are two of them. Man, they they have all these guards right next to that, and they can't press it themselves. They have to wait for Joanna to do it. No wonder this place is under attack. Did they not see this coming? You, turn on the defenses! Save the, the, you know, Carrington man. Save Robin Williams. Okay, so there's a couple more hostages! <laughs> Already dead again, Joe. Carrington sounds a little bit like Sean Connery, which I don't know if that's intentional or not, but it would be a good little nod to the fact that they did a Bond game. That was a friend. I like when I get, uh, shot for half a second and lose half of my health. Honey! Uh, there's guns... somewhere. Here's one. Alright, these lazy bastards. I say that as an honorary lazy bastard. Come here! Why did... you just give the Joanna Dark... like, noise? Like, she got me, he said. That was someone from the Carrington Institute. What the hell? Boo! Sorry about that. Yes, sir! You beat the last mission too early and the game knows. Yeah, the pain detector has... has dinged. Come here! No, oh, come here! Fucking elevator broken? Ah, uh, Joanna, I'm trying to take them out myself. Could really use a chili dog right about now. I forgot that this weapon had a cloak. But it it fucking gobbles ammo. Bullet powered cloak. <laughs> oh god. Oh! Checkpoints in perfect dark? Oh no. Oh no. I like, like, placing bets on whether or not this guy will be dead by the time I get in here. Understood. Oh. God, that was almost terrible. My office. Get get quicker. Fast, Switch weapons quicker, please, Joanna. Why do they shoot your corpse so much? If you think about it, Joanna Dark killed hundreds, if not thousands, of their co-workers, of their friends. So it's kind of personal. <laughs> would you be up for a Black Mesa-style remake of this game? I would. There would need to be some pacing adjustments. Um... <laughs> 
Poor bastards already dead. Both of them died? Oh, come on! I didn't even enter the room and they were shot to death. <laughs> what the fuck? Chad, how do I unlock the perk to reload faster? What prestige do I have to be? They've already gotten started on their slaughter here. That's just not fair. Jeez. We can remember the gun nerds by using their greatest invention. The gun that uses bullets as a source of cloaking fuel for some reason. Isn't that the... The facility noise chat. God, I'm stuck. Why can't I move forward? I can't. The ship is in the way. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Get clear. I'll hold them off. You can come back and get me later. Why is this windscreen white? Captain, a hollow plastic box has fallen on me. Captain, I will need Riker to kill me, but it is part of Klingon custom. You must kill me, Captain. Worf, you've got oh, a paper cut! I'm, it is dishonorable to receive a paper idea. cut. You were my best chance for revenge. Revenge. <laughs> Stock scream. Maybe we could have fought together. You know, instead of there being this bizarre distraction plan, we could have, like, fought the Skedar together. Yeah, I'm just gonna punch a giant like lizard thing probably oh my mouse unlocked again good I might have accidentally banned someone from my mouse unlocking so sorry about that the problem with the mauler charge option is that if you press reload you waste ammo someone in chat just said I was baned please help ah you wish for me to help you no charge shot. So they live a long time. Yes, because I can read moon runes. <laughs> Sounds like a Star Trek noise. Nice, uh, nice outfit. That was his suit to meet the president. Oh, it was! Vinny, you need the necklace from the beginning of the level? I don't have it. You do not need the necklace that is Japes? It's Japes, you got it. Okay. Vinny, go back. Wrong way for objective three. I like that video games have made me stupid. Well, I mean, I'm a, uh, that's not true. I, I've already been stupid, but they've definitely dumbed me down by placing arrows. These days, them video games get them arrows all over the place, pointing you directly to the next area. Vinny, how dare you not understand dark, featureless hallway? <laughs> I think a, a middle ground between press X to win and, like, pasting arrows all over the screen to show the player where to go, what we had here, like a nice middle ground would be great. I just stood there, chat. I just stood there. <laughs> See you later! Elvis, please! Now's not the time, Elvis! Hey, Joanna! I, I've come to save you! Again, like, every, like, 30 seconds, the mouse just... I just see it pop out, and I see something like... What did I open? I just open all the chat messages of Kratos Foley. I'm sorry, Kratos. I don't know why I need to know every message you posted in the past hour, but I now have that information. It was an accident. What? what? That was an instant kill. What? It's a sneak attack? Backstab? Oh, if they don't see you. Okay. So in other words, I got incredibly lucky just then. Oh! 
Wow, one hit, huh? Elvis, help. Elvis, go in there. Elvis! What the fuck, Elvis? This game looks like CBT. Yes, it is on this difficulty. Again, it's designed for having already completed the game and knowing it pretty well. But you know if I didn't do the hardest difficulty, there would be some people that would be like, But why you not play this real difficult? Please, Boot, the perfect agent is best. Please. Urvis, please. Why did you do so much damage, please? I don't know. The, sorry, the voice is coming out. The frustration has meant that I have no shame anymore. Cold Stare? There's a chat member named Cold Stare that wants to know which N64 I'm using. It's called 1964. Also, the reason I say your name out loud is because it sounds like a hedgehog. OC? Same thing on Ice Cream Place. Cold Stone? Employees at Cold Stone have to sing whenever you tip them. That's not real. Is it? What if they don't have the ability to carry a tune? They- they get fired and die? Yes! Mm, wills! Yeah, same spot! Oh! Charles Entertainment Cheese? Oh, that's a good pizza. It's good because as soon as you're done with Charles Entertainment Cheese, you go to the liquor store next door and you just get fucking trashed. Or better yet, you get trashed before you go into Charles Cheese. I mean, you saw my picture from when I was on vacation. There was a Chuck E. Cheese in a lot. And it, the, right next to it was a fucking liquor store. I was like, ah, yes, the natural progression. So, Chad, I didn't, uh, I didn't mention what happened earlier. I was in a parking lot waiting for my food to finish cooking from this place I like. And I'm, I'm in my car. Lady pulls up next to me, parks maybe four feet away from my car, three or four feet away from my car, just slams her door open into my car door, right? Closes her door, barely even acknowledges that she did that. Like, it was normal. She was checking her phone when she did it. So I look, I'm pissed. She sees me looking. She makes a face and then starts running. What kind of face did she make? It was like a, like a surprised slash disgusted face. Slash oops, slash I've done this before. Now, of course, I'm just making assumptions. Spin! Oh, thank God. <laughs> the reload is so good. God, this place must be hot. Three suns. This is triple sun, chat. This is much more than Star Wars. Tatooine had two suns. You know what that is? That's for babies. This is for real motherfucking gamers. Three suns. The trinary sunset. There's more to it than that, isn't there? Yes. All of the time, we lions from the skidder. We never found this place. Stock leopard sound effect. Whoa. Oh man, that low poly model morphing into the high poly model. Chat's gonna... What? Uh... I think I just got smacked in the back of the head. So that's one. This seems to be one of the special pillars. What? Oh, it's the... Oh, may as well show you the Reaper. Don't fear it. But look, look, Reapage. Grinder. So Grinder mode... ...does this. Which does not fire any shots. And Reapage mode does this. Spray and pray, baby. Spray and pray. Why can't Joanna Dark just grab that and then not fail the mission? Vinny, someone's streaming a jar of peanut butter for hours. That's fascinating. Some say my streams are like watching peanut butter. It's like watching peanut butter get rotten, apparently. That's the dude who fucking ganked me before. No way! Yes. The music is gonna get dank, chat. Um, chat, there's another pillar that I can destroy for the phoenixes. Um, help me find... Why did that happen? Oh, eat dick! Uh, no. Where's the weapons I was supposed to get? Uh, no. I wish not to risk. Yes! Oh, that's not good. Almost died. Wow. 
I don't know if this is it. Shoot that. Okay. Objective 5 failed. Oh! oh. No! No, Juin! No, you must go in with little ammo, Juin! Juin! Have you seen the movie E.T.? Banana! Do you wish to crush? Mm. Ooh! Some crusty growls. Someone said this place looks very Turok-like. And the gameplay, too. I'm like shooting little Turok raptors. Compies. That makes me want to play Turok 2 again. But not on any of the official game's levels. Or the game's official levels. <laughs> I still love it, though, like, just for what it is. You're a dude named Turok. You go, I am Turok. You shoot. You fight. You use cool weapons. There's dinosaurs, chat. And reptoids. So fucking cool. Oh, right, the fucking Skedar computers. Or switches. They, they basically, they played a lot of Zelda. Ooh, this motherfucker's got a rocket! Oh, I remember this room! Make your sacrifice to the god of war. I just sacrificed my best weapon. Is that the opposing force gun? Uh, it, it is very similar to the opposing force gun. Different in function, wildly different in function, very similar in design. Got my gun back. Sorry. Itchy, itchy eye. Dirt. Somehow made its way into my eye chat. Airborne dirt dust. Is that what they call it? It's weird. I, <laughs> playing this game, I've had salt go into my right eye, and now I've had dust go into my left eye. Someone said DE Dust 2 is what they call it. It's weird how every time someone mentions a game I like, like, so talking about Turok, I'm like, oh, I want to replay Turok. Someone says DE Dust 2. Oh, I want to play Counter-Strike. Who is DE? Who is DE? DMC! Excellent! I like when it goes... Get off the vent, or I'll have you bent. I want pepperoni and bullets. Or that and the Donald Duck blowjob. Hey, so good. Oh. Yes, same spot. What are you doing, Joanne? Crust. At least they're kind enough to give you a chance. The Skedar army. There's like ten of them. <laughs> Hell of an army. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, okay, okay. I'm letting him blow his own ass up. Oh, there's another one. I didn't even see it. Fuck. I remembered how to do the fight! Yes! Yes, Joanna, exactly! Yeah. Joanna! It's those dual phoenixes, chat. They're amazing. I saw the baby scatter on its way. It was going to kill me. Elvis, over here! No problem. Grab my arm. I'll get you out in no time. No! Quick! Give me your gun! when I looked for you. They'll start as soon as we're clear. I'd have got out in time if that one hadn't grabbed my foot. Of course, Joanne. Of course. No, I would have. I believe you. <laughs> Can Elvis use, like, alien magic? Or, sorry, alien medicine to heal Joanna's foot? Hell yeah. Perfect agent complete. Even with all my little complaints and, you know, annoyances of, like, weird deaths and missions failing from, like... There were times where I failed a mission, I wasn't even in the same room as the thing that failed me. But, overall, great, great fucking game. So, Mr. Blonde's Revenge, Mayan SOS, and War. 
So you play as Blonde, Mr. Blonde, James Blonde, the incompetent Cassandra de Bray of the human corporation Data Dine has obstructed the Skidar cause for long enough. Enter her headquarters and capture her so that she may be brought before righteous Skedar justice. Huh? <laughs> oh shit! Yep, use the wrong thing. Jesus. I have a better idea. Hello. Look at this. What could this be? Isn't this cool? What is this? Hey, hey there. Hey. How's it going? Wanna check something out? Watch this. Ooh. I love their voice lines. Why me? Can't see me. No, I need that. I've hung up one minute. What? You best be joking. They're just running the clock now. God damn it. Well, she conveniently forgot about me, which is nice. Well, anyway, you, you got the idea. Okay, so you're Elvis. Emergency capture protocols activated. Ship XD. <laughs> 31. 0372 suffered hostile planet fall. Mayan protector one. Note, I am now small. Get her. Friend. Was friend. Now dead. I like that Elvis knows how to use these, these assault rifles with no, no real problem. He is trained in weapons from all across the galaxy. We're being invaded by Peter Lorre! Oh, I have another psychosis gun shot now. Could have got that gold boy. <laughs> That's the name of the next James Bond movie after Daniel Craig. It'll be Golden Boy. <laughs> Go golden Guy. The Carrington Institute. Hey Lois, it's me, Golden Guy. Golden Boy is a good anime, says chat. N-A. Aim. The Watchmen movie? I'd have to watch it again. I liked it in the theater when Dr. Manhattan's big blue dong was swinging in my face. Fifth Element would be top 20 probably, maybe top 25. Love the Fifth Element. I don't know why they got stuck there, but I like it. I did it. Grab a body bag. <laughs> we won. <laughs> These challenges were fun to do in co-op. Especially, like, the, the family. Like, the dinner where Eddie Murphy plays all the characters. That was where people would just, every day, have a new clump quote. Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy shit! The ultimate spawn camp weapon. You just have to turn this off or have an agreement with your friends. Not to be a cheap asshole with it. <laughs> Otherwise, this is what happens. So this is the, um, Goldeneye level. Some of you may recognize. Yeah, Goldeneye Source is great. They were doing a... Some team, some small team was doing a Goldeneye remake. For a computer. I think using the Unreal Engine. And they were keeping it really, really accurate. And it looked incredible. And it got shut down. Please explain Goldeneye film or game for those of us who haven't seen it. Asking for a friend. It's a man whose eye is golden. And he can see things you people wouldn't believe. <laughs> I can't get this motherfucker. This is complex. Well, it's a complex map, but it is also a complex, and the name of it is complex. And when you play it enough, when you're 10 years old, you get a complex. 
from your friend or your brother punching you in your spleen because you beat them in Goldeneye. That was a fuzzy joke. Waka waka, Kermit! Fuzzy, you're posting cringe! Mr. Blonde here showing the importance of strafing. Is the AI drunk? The AI has been tranquilized. Oh, this was the Matrix map. The Matrix had just come out the year before, so... They made a map that looked a little bit like the building, but specifically the lobby. This was a fun map, too. I enjoyed this one. Oh! Vinny, what did you think of Conqueror's multiplayer? Surprisingly good? I was like, wait, this game has good multiplayer? What the fuck, Rare? Stop giving me good things. And then Rare listened. Yeah, they <laughs> they made Star Fox Adventures. And then they listened. And they were like, yeah, we, we won't make any more good things for a while. Don't Don't worry about us. Would you agree it would have been better left as Dinosaur Planet? I don't- I can't say for sure. Like, yeah, it would have been better just left what it was. It would have also come out at the tail end of the N64. People would have been... more... on board with the new hardware, and getting sick of their N64. It might have still sold, because people knew Rare was the best. The best! And then, when Rare was like, hey, we're gonna go to Microsoft. I remember emailing, like, Rare support, like, you gotta just tell me! You gotta tell us if you're going to Microsoft! There's rumors! You gotta tell us! Because, like, no one knew. There was a lot of speculation, but there was no confirmation that they were going over to, uh, to Microsoft, or that Nintendo had sold them. But there was just radio silence for several years. Still no facility. I lied. This is the facility. It's called the Felicity in this one. And they made this area a little bit bigger up here. And it also spills out into the rest of the level. And this is where the game starts to get really brutal. Apparently a good way to win this challenge is just to camp with proximity mines. Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch! And yet again, I hear this song and I think Rugrats. Why? Because of this particular part right now. That goes... I'm beginning to think these bots are cheating. Oops. Someone said they actually put these mines in Smash Brothers. Shit. Oh! Someone said, I don't think this level aged well, it's just two dead ends that people can camp in. No, you're right. I, I think I like it for the nostalgia more than I like the actual, like, map. I kind of liked the choke points as a kid, because you could just, yeah, you could just, like, hang out at the end of a hallway with a gun with a scope. Uh, but it just led to a lot of cheese. Not even close. And that's Perfect Dark, everybody. Good game. Always good to revisit it. And I'm happy... was happy to be able to finish it on the difficulty that I streamed it on, which was uh, very... very annoying. But worth it. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Despite my complaints... Uh, despite my complaints... It was definitely a great game. And one of the best on the N64. And... I will miss Elvis the alien until the next time I play this in another 10 years.